everybody back with another video i know it's been a while like i said i got a lot of other things that i got going on so i'm trying to make time to make these videos as you guys can see right now i got layla jacked up because right now i'm just going through everything i went out last night and we had some fun win or lose is all about fun i'm not the type where race somebody beat them both all over facebook lose complain come up with excuses and all that i'm not the type and i was out there having fun with some fast cars man uh supercharged s2000 my boy shy from uh bridgeport with the eg coupe k24 center feed and also wonka with the uh the mirage and for a street tune that i've done she holds up really really good <laughs> street manifold off and run with the throttle body and get it prepped and ready for the ultra race and i got pretty much everything i need to finish the turbo setup i got everything i need for the fuel tank i got everything So manifold is off, throttle body, 70 millimeter throttle body, ultra street with the spacer. I'm debating if I want to sell it. I'm not 100% sure, um, because I think I might put it on the RSX once I get another swap for it. Also, this Aquity TPS, bro, I had this TPS since my RSX in 2018, and it's just now starting to go bad. Do the math, <laughs> do the math. It's worth the $100, worth the $100. One thing with this car too, Saturday night, a lot of stuff, <laughs> I don't know why, stuff keep falling off of this car, man. So I do the first run and on the way back, I see my boy Benny running across the street like a madman going like this. I'm like, the fuck is Benny doing? What the fuck he got in his hand? Yeah, so my license plate fell off. Uh, my exhaust hangers fell off. Something is always falling off of this car, bro. Always. All right, so I got the masking tape, fresh pair of gloves, and I'm going to put the rubber gloves under those gloves so when I start cutting, I have, you know, extra protection on my hands. This is one thing I didn't want to do. That's why I never went for the racing manifold in the beginning. The first time for everything, right? All right, so I fucked up. Uh, I thought the phone was recording. But I guess not. I forgot to hit record. But uh, let me just test fit the race manifold. See if I cut enough. Oh, yeah. Wow, I cut exactly enough. I cut exactly enough. <laughs> hey. Wow. All right. Let's cut up in this throttle body. has already has a gasket on it okay let's see um okay problem problem number one coolant holes in the way yeah i think i might have to put the spacer because the coolant holes in the way or let's not just get a whole different hose where it can route around this way instead of going straight through like that and down because it's hitting the, uh, the throttle plate, the uh, 
the throttle pulley. All right, so got the throttle body pretty much on. Um, I had to uh, take off the wheel, and it was kind of confusing to get this thing back together. So at least get the uh, the text to face outward. But um, right now I'm just doing everything hand tight. So what I had to do. I had to get it. I had to get some help from Presto. So um, yeah. So let's flip it up this way. So how it goes? It normally comes with the throttle cable bracket up here on top, facing that way. But for us Hondas, you gotta take off the wheel, take off the bracket, put it on the bottom, facing outward this way. Because of the fact that if you put it up this way, it won't it won't spin. It, it will not spin at all because it's just going to go and then it's going to get, you won't be able to pull on the cable at all and it will not open. So you got to do it the opposite way, put this here, this way, this way, bring the cable around like that and throttle. All right, so mock up right now, manifold is on, throttle body is on. I think I need to get a different throttle cable for this to like actually open up all the way. Um, I gotta get spacers for the fuel uh for the fuel rail because it definitely uh needs it. The street, I didn't need the spacers for whatever reason, but I'm going to end up putting the uh the fuel tech on once I start putting the treble stuff on. Um but yeah, so that'll be it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. It's nine o'clock. Um I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I've been up since five. So uh yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, four to three inch coupler. I also had to replace my starter. It turned on. Of course, I had an idle issue. And then uh, I turned it back off just so I could put the belt back on. Next thing I know, I tried turning it back on again. Just nothing but clicking. So, took the starter to a rally. So my boy Hector hooked me up. The starter failed the test. So, got a brand new starter. Hopefully, it starts right back up again. And um, if it still has an idle surge, I probably still have to fight with the two 12 mil bolts in the bottom corner right here and the bottom corner over here. Oh, God. The battery has power. with the ground wires see what happens and so i went through all the grounds tighten them i also put the voltmeter on each ground they all get in 12 volts i noticed when i'm using a voltmeter on the starter wire to the battery it was getting 12.6 and then the other end of the wire it wasn't getting really a reading at all so i disconnected it opened up the splice wire that i did and maybe I think it probably like had like a break in it. So test it now. I reconnected it. See if it has 12. Yep. All right. It's reading 12.6 now. So let's see if this works. Then I assume what qualifies a mechanic. <laughs> So one thing to note, see how Matt says negative 18, that means a vacuum leak right there, which is pretty much from here. Put this back on a little cover for the starter uh, bolt. Um, only thing I have to wait on to get here is the angled water neck and get a um, radiator hose that can like go from here to like around here at least, or like just you know make it work to go under somehow, some way. But uh, other than that, it's uh, she's on idling perfectly fine. That idle shows that came angle 13 and 14. No idle is kind of high to me. 
get just this way. Yep, there we go. Here we go. I gotta find my seven millimeter wrench. Tried to really set that, but um, can't find it anywhere. Don't know where the hell is that. But all right, so it's the next day once again. Finally came about damn time. The old man was running late as shit today. It's seven o'clock and just now I'm getting my mail. Got my K tune angled water neck housing right here. Get this old water neck off and then swap this on and then should be able to get this other holes on. Hopefully this holes that I got work. All right, so the water neck is on now, so let me see what I can do with this. Radiator holes like that. This shit, because, yeah, can't find a more suitable one right now, so. Let me see if I can make this work. I'm gonna have to cut it. Or maybe not. All right, that works. All right, so everything is all set. Just gonna let that gasket sit for a few hours before I put coolant back in here, let it run. I also finally got seven mil wrench. So I could adjust this damn thing finally. Freaking idle. I feel like it was a long ass process, even though it's only like about four days, but you know, sometimes you just don't have the stuff that you need when you're trying to do something different. And also, as you guys can see for the spacers, what I had to do, I used a 14 here, another 14 on this side, and then also the spacers from my old traction bar on both sides. And I had to use the washer right here also because it wasn't, uh, it had too much of a gap still a little bit, but it's good. The other method I tried didn't work out too well. As you guys can see, my bob cover is like, well, it's stained up from the gas. So, got to do the valve cover over. But uh, I'm going to let this sit. Let this gasket dry up, seal up, put coolant in it. Should be good. Take it on a drive. See how the air fuel look with this big-ass manifold and throttle body on it right now. So, uh, and so I'll be Jamie Marsh. I don't know where you're going to tune it at. I don't know if it's going to be at the Kyle's or at New England Motors. 
It's Sonic. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe Wallingford. I don't know. I, I got to put my license plate back on. I done drove all the way over here with no license plate on the car. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, shit. But, um, yeah, drive good. The bottle response is pretty damn good. But I'm happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Now, I know I've been saying that, you know, it's going to get tuned for a while now. But this time, it's, it's about that time. So, uh, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit me up whenever. I'm always down for a conversation. But, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, I'm on the rollers in the next one. <laughs> Peace out.